Hey folks, this is your host Jay Arthur and today I'm going to talk about the Spartan race. You might be wondering what the heck I know about this Spartan race. The good news is I got the man who founded this Spartan race. So I'm talking about Joe De Sena. And so first of all, let me welcome Joe. Je- Joe, thank you to Healthy Lifestyle Podcast. Thank you for having me. Super excited to be on. Appreciate and then uh, first of all, thanks for taking out time to do this interview. But before I start the interview, I wanted to make sure that I give a short intro for our audience. That Joe is the CEO and the founder of the Spartan Race, and he's also the writer of two books: that is Spartan Fit and Spartan Up. So, before we start the real questions and all that. I want to make sure, because this is a tradition on Healthy Lifestyle Show, we want to know the real Joe. So appreciate if you could share whatever you feel comfortable about yourself, your life, your family, your you know city where you you live, your passions. We know about your you know the real passion that's the Spartan race, but other than that, yeah, the real Joe is a dad, right? The real Joe has four kids, and um my my passion my focus everything in my life is 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 uh is my family i am um constantly torn in an opposite direction which is which is the business spartan and it's global it's in 30 countries and million participants and the reason i'm pulled in that direction all day every day away from my family is we transform lives and it's hard um when you're transforming lives and you're getting emails from people that are no longer smoking or no longer drinking or back with their spouse um have a better relationship with their kids hey guys i want to share something which happened yesterday yesterday i was interviewing i would say almost like a celebrity guest jody sena who is the founder of the spartan race and we had uh, many technical challenges i would say in terms of uh, recording the interview and so we did couple of times and then after that uh you know everything went well and we did the whole interview unfortunately after the interview technology ditched us again we couldn't get the interview so there is a very very short portion of i would say approximately 2 minutes or so where you can see me or you can hear me welcoming and after that it was like as soon as joe started talking about his family talking about his kids his you know little bit about all that passion and then we lost the audio after that again i do apologize all <coughs> all of the fans out there who wanted to listen to <coughs> jody sina because we had such a fabulous interview where he was talking m- most of time he doesn't talk about i would say like his family his kids you know everything which uh, i'm sure you will know about it and uh, i also want to apologize to healthy lifestyle podcast fans and the audience because we wanted to bring this interview uh for the benefit of everybody because joe is so inspiring so motivating that i got really uh inspired at the end of the interview and i wanted to share my inspiration my you know all that message what he gave it to me and gave it to uh, our audience i wanted to make sure that that's shared with everybody so what i'm trying to do over here is that i'm trying to share some key points from that interview i you know i you know this well i can't really do the justice what he did uh, i can't you know communicate that passion which he had for everything what he shared so please bear with us and i would do my best to share what i can perfect thanks jay for 
coming back and actually organizing this so that we can try to capture some of the the what you guys experienced in the interview. Yeah, I really feel bad about it, but hey, mm-hmm. it's technology. What can you do about it? It's just uh, a learning curve, right? <laughs> it's the learning curve, and then you know, get a smarter next time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Bonnie, just so you know, uh, he was talking about his family and all that. Uh, he has four kids, mm-hmm. uh, and I was quite amazed when he said that. When I asked him, "What's your typical day looks like?" Yeah. And he said that he gets up early in the morning, around five-ish mm-hmm. or so. Yeah, that's early. <laughs> early, early. Early bird, right? Yeah, early bird. And uh, he does the workout. Mm-hmm. His wife is similar to him, I would say, in terms of making sure that she does the workout. Mm-hmm. But the best surprise for me was that all four kids do, do the workout. workouts. Wow. It's a family time. It's a family event right in the morning yeah that's good so uh that was a big uh, surprise and for me but very inspiring it's so good in the morning because it really gets your blood circulating and the you know motivation to take on the day it's it's really good absolutely mm-hmm. and he loves <laughs> to spend as much time as he can with his family and i think you know uh that's his inspiration that's his motivation that's why he's doing what he's doing Nice. Uh, I, you know, it was good message. I wish I could do the same way as he did. But anyway, I did what I can. Um, he also talked about that he's writing another book. So he wrote first, the first book was Spartan Up. And the second book after that was Spartan Fit. Mm-hmm. And I asked him, like, why did you write the second book, Spartan Fit? He said that everybody was looking for the message or the blueprint that how I can be ready yeah in a step-by-step formula for this Spartan race yeah because can you explain the Spartan race a little bit to the viewers yeah Please. Spartan race is like a uh, he exp- I can't do that because I really don't know that much about it but he explained that a little bit and then uh, <clears throat> we would make sure that that message is shared on the blog he has uh, he has a Spartan Sprint, Spartan Super, mm-hmm. Spartan uh, Beast, Spartan Ultra Beast, and I asked him like, what's the difference? Basically, the difference lies in the total distance covered in each category, mm-hmm. and also the obstacles. Yeah, because that's what uh, that's what's a big difference about like the Spartan race compared to like a different uh, marathon or something is right. that there's lots of obstacles within the within the course. Yeah, correct. Uh, a Spartan race is basically an obstacle race. Yeah, like carrying things, throwing yeah. things. Absolutely. Maybe doing some of those army things. Well, or... yeah, it's basically there are many obstacles designed by army. Yeah. So the whole concept is that, you know, you have uh, made it so tough Mm -hmm. that as if you are facing your life challenge, that was another message. Another key takeaway is that when you face those obstacles, you're almost like overcoming your life challenges. Mm -hmm. If you can overcome those, it makes you stronger mentally, of course, physically. Yeah, but mentally, it's mentally, a huge thing. And then you start thinking, I can do this. What if I can do this, I can do anything. Yeah. It's a mind thing, right? It's a mind Everything. thing. Talking about that, um, he talked about it. And, I, you know, this was very, very close to my heart. Mm-hmm. He said that when I asked him, like, where did you get all this motivation? Normally people participate in the races. And then after that, thank you very much. And then they have a party. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's how it goes. Uh, maybe tailgate party. Yeah. Uh, and then I said, but you even started a brand new race. Mm-hmm. How how and why you did all of this? Yeah. And his main message was that he his mom was into meditation, yoga, exercising, nutrition, like you, Bonnie. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we get along. <laughs> That's right. And... Uh, that's where he got everything what wow. he has today. And you know this well, that 
uh, all my passion for healthy lifestyle and everything comes mm-hmm. from my mom. Mm-hmm. So uh, his mom said that, you know, make yourself so strong through proper nutrition mm-hmm. that you can do anything in life. And in order to do anything in life, make your mind so strong that your mind starts teaching your body that you can do anything in life. That's so true because like there's different parts of the brain and if you can train it to think a certain way, it's going to start conditioning your thoughts and it's just going to come instantaneously. That's true. Right. And and you know this, my mom always gave me this message. Make your mind so strong that nothing is impossible after that. Mm-hmm. And your, your body is going to listen to your mind. Yeah. Knowingly, unknowingly, it doesn't matter. But if you make your mind strong, then your body would be strong because your mind is telling all the time, eat this, don't eat that. Yeah. Do the exercises daily. Don't skip the exercises. Yeah. Get up early in the morning because you're programming yourself. Touche. Yeah, I, I know. So... We almost felt like, you know, maybe my mom was talking to his mom. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, all moms I like. Yeah. And uh, uh, there was one more thing he was started talking about, and it was really good. Um, I'm trying to recall that. You know, it was a long interview, and yeah. I really feel bad that we can't have some of that. Um he was talking about, uh, yeah, when we were talking about nutrition. Mm-hmm. And I say, my mom always used to say that eat only as big as your yeah. palm is. My mom said that too. Your, your yeah, mom did? Yeah. This is what your body needs. This is the quantity you need to take when you're eating. Wow. And something similar, his mom said to him. Mm-hmm. So I said, oh, gosh. All moms. <laughs> Maybe and, your mom. But said he's that? practicing all of that. <laughs> yeah. He eats less. Mm-hmm. He doesn't take any coffee. He doesn't take any tea. He doesn't take any alcohol. He just takes water. That's good. Nothing else. And he's, he's taking very, very simple food, mm-hmm. but nutritious food. And healthy food. And plant-based. And plant-based. He doesn't eat any kind of meat. He doesn't even take dairy. Okay. So, like a vegan. Well, he's he's okay. He says, mm-hmm. if you like dairy stuff, take it. But yeah. uh, he doesn't. That's his personal choice. Yeah. For whatever reason, I didn't mm-hmm. ask him. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was really uh, extremely close again to my, my heart. Because my mom was... A vegan mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, you know I mean like that's by design by choice nobody in my family takes any kind of meat mm-hmm. uh, some limited type of dairy not even fish nothing yeah I do I have no restrictions and I have no uh, hesitation but I'm not a regular eat uh, you know taker of any kind of meat mm-hmm. I avoid meat if yeah. I can I just keep it for more like having fun kind of thing. Yeah. Nothing more than that. So there was almost like a bond which was created during that interview. Mm. And when I told him that I come from a tiny hamlet from the Himalayan mountains, he says, hey, I want to go there. I want to come and talk to you. <laughs> and can you can you help me out on that? I want to go there. Yeah. Because he's that kind of a guy who would even... Travel. He would travel and then even he would walk. 100 miles. Yeah, well, yeah, I can imagine. Because he is testing himself. Mm -hmm. It's all about having fun through testing his body, his his mind, his willpower. Mm -hmm. Like, that's who he is. That's why he created his Spartan race. Mm -hmm. And he also told me about uh, that now Spartan race is in 30 countries. 3 0, 30 countries. And uh, he was talking about that. There's a more than one million following for this yeah, race. Yeah, I actually, I've I've had a friend that's competed in it before, mm-hmm. so it's challenging. He's really fit, so I, I'm not surprised that he went into that. But 
talking about that. I I told him, hey, I'm not the guy who does participate in these kind of kind of races. Yeah. If I want to do it, what's your message? Because I'm sure there are millions of people like me who never participate in these kind of races. Yeah, they're challenging, right? They're so challenging. It's, kind of it's, a bit it's not only challenging. It's it's like you know you understand my situation, my personal situation. I have so many things to do to take yeah. care of. I don't have that luxury that I can spend that kind of time. And on. it's also the time of getting prepared right. for the race. Right. So I don't have some of that. Yeah. Uh, I would say, you know, cushion in my life. Mm-hmm. So I, I said, okay, what do I do? Mm-hmm. He said that, okay, do you exercise? I said, yeah, I do exercise a lot. Do you walk? I said, yeah, in this weather, it's hard to walk. Mm-hmm. I said, start walking. Mm-hmm. No matter what kind of weather it is, walk a mile. Mm-hmm. If you want to walk 100 miles, start with your first mile. Mm-hmm. Take that first step. And soon you would see that you can you can do more yeah. and more and more and more. He also talked about a couple of his exercises and we're going to make sure that those exercises are there on the website mm-hmm. so people can look at it. He talked about uh, burpees. Oh, yes. Uh, I know it's tough. I tried. Yeah, they're hard. I don't, they're really, not my really fan. Hard. And it looks easy, but it's not. No, especially if you got to do like 20 or more. And... He does, like, I don't know, he doesn't even count sometimes. Just keeps going. Just keeps going. And uh, he does the squats, he does, like, all those kind of warm-up yeah. exercises and all that, you know, to make his body fit mm-hmm. for any kind of challenges he can deal with. Yeah. So. Well, it's good because you can start with a routine today and then in a week or so that routine will become your work, your warm-up, right? So it just keeps building and building. Absolutely. He, we talked about so many things, you mm-hmm. know. I really don't have some of those notes mm-hmm. over here. I just took some notes. And mm-hmm. then after that, I was so engrossed in the whole interview that stopped taking notes because I knew it's going to be recorded in any yeah. case. This is the first time, guys, this happened with us. We lost the recording yeah. like this due to technology. So we, we were never prepared for something like this. So I, in nutshell, I want to say, if I have to summarize his message, his message was that anybody can do anything in life. Start, first of all, believing in yourself. Take mm-hmm. that first step. And when you take that first step, soon you will be taking the second step and third step. And believe you me, anybody can do it. Nobody is a special if there's any person who's special, it's you, it's me, it's Bonnie. We are special. And that's what we have to keep telling to our mind, that we are special. Mm-hmm. And then we can do anything after that in life. With that, I want to say thank you very much for being part of this podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, check it out more. Everything is whatever we talked about. Uh, we have tried our best to share it on the on the blog so you can go and check it out at healthylifestylepodcast.com thanks for listening to the healthy lifestyle show and you can learn more about us at healthylifestylepodcast.com and to plan your healthy meals don't forget to visit healthylifestylemeals.com we'll see you next week Listeners should know this podcast is for informational purposes only and assumes no responsibility for how this material is used. While using any information shared here, please consult with your healthcare provider.